Hello all, in this video we will see brief introduction to the UWB, the ultra-wideband wireless technology. In next video, we are going to develop real-time positioning and distance measurement project using UWB, the ultra-wideband trans receiver modules. So, before going into actual implementation of the project, we will first see the theory behind this ultra-wideband wireless technology. So without wasting more time, let's get started. Please note that this will be bit descriptive and lengthy video. You can use section timestamps and chapters given in video description to jump over to any desired topic of this video. So, what is actually mean by UWB, the ultra-wideband? As standard Wikipedia definition says, ultra-wideband or UWB or ultra-band is a radio technology that can use a very low energy level for short range, high bandwidth communications over a large portion of the radio spectrum. Let's simplify this. In our daily life, we use different wireless or radio technologies for communication, like TV and radio broadcasting, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and BLE in our smartphones and laptops, Zigbee technology in home automation, RF radio frequency technology in car key unlocking, then 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, wireless technologies for mobile telecommunication and many more. So, these all are radio technologies. Similarly, Ultra-wideband is also a short-range wireless communication technology, which uses radio waves. So, what differentiate all these technologies from each other? Yes, you guessed it right. The frequency and range. Each of these radio technologies operate at specific standard radio frequency and coverage. Bandwidth in wireless communication encompasses the range of frequencies that a wireless signal occupies. The wider the frequency range, the higher the potential data transfer rate. Data rate is nothing but capacity of a wireless communication channel, representing the amount of data that can be transmitted over the channel in a given amount of time. It is usually measured in BPS, bits per second, kbps, kilobits per second, mbps, megabits per seconds, or gbps, gigabits per second. Then, range means how long you can transmit the signal using these wireless technologies. So, in this image, you can see typical communication ranges for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, ZigBee, LoRa, and other wireless technologies. Similarly, ultra-wideband can have communication range up to 50 to 100 meters. That is up to 300 feet. UWB comes in same category like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, that is short-range wireless communication. The UWB Trans Receiver Module, which we are going to review, has communication range up to 100 meters in open field environment. Now, let's understand ultra-wideband using these images. So you can see here in this graph, radio technologies are differentiated using range and data rate. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, ultra-wideband, NFC, all comes in short range. 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G comes in long-range cellular communication. And LoRa, Sigfox, narrowband IoT comes in LP-band category, means low-power wide area network category. So UWB technology is very low energy, but at the same time, it can send high amounts of data over short distances. Here, in another graph, the power versus bandwidth graph. You can see, the ultra-wideband have low power, but much wider bandwidth comparing to other radio communication systems, like 2G, 3G mobile phones, and Wi-Fi. Then, this spectrum of ultra-wideband shows UWB ranges from 3.1 GHz to 10.6 GHz, whereas we know there is standard 2.4 GHz band assigned for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Zigbee. On other hand, Wi-Fi 5 has 5 GHz band, 
and GPS comes with 1.6 GHz frequency. You can see, ultra-wideband signal has low spectral density than other radios, but bit higher than noise floor. So, there is no chance of interference with other technologies. So, in a nutshell, UWB means, the ultra-wideband, is a short-range wireless communication technology which uses radio waves. It operates over a very wide bandwidth, as the name suggests, and generates short pulses of radio energy. UWB technology is very low energy, but at the same time, it can send high amounts of data over short distances. Since the signal has low spectral density, it doesn't interfere with narrowband transmissions like Wi-Fi and is hard to detect. Another advantage is that it is resilient to multipath. That makes it a great technology to use indoors. Now, you must have been thinking where this elegant radio technology is being used in our daily life. So, ultra-wideband has a wide range of applications. Accuracy and distance measurement is a key feature of UWB technology. Hence, it revolutionized real-time locationing with its precise and reliable capabilities. Ultra-wideband plays a crucial role in various industries, such as logistics, healthcare, manufacturing, and transportation. So, UWB can be used in real-time location finding in indoor environments where GPS signals may be unreliable. In logistics, ultra-wideband enables efficient inventory tracking, reducing losses, and optimizing operations. Healthcare benefits from UWB are in asset tracking, patient flow optimization, and improved care coordination. In manufacturing, ultra-wideband streamlines inventory management and enhances production efficiency through accurate tracking of materials and tools. UWB also supports route planning, fleet management, and vehicle security in transportation systems. The next main application is radar. UWB used in implementation of synthetic aperture radar, SAR technology. It is a form of radar that is used to create two-dimensional images or three-dimensional reconstructions of objects, such as landscapes. In healthcare, Ultra-wideband pulse Doppler radars have also been used to monitor vital signs of the human body, such as heart rate and respiration signals, as well as human gait analysis and fall detection. Ultra-wideband technology can play a significant role in industrial applications, such as automation and robotics, worker safety and proximity sensing, asset tracking and management. Let's see about these applications in detail. So. Its high data rate and low latency enable real-time communication and control between machines and systems. Ultra-wideband-based communication protocols ensure reliable and secure data transmission, enabling precise coordination and synchronization of automated processes. This enhances manufacturing efficiency, reduces errors, and improves overall productivity. UWB can also be integrated into robotic systems to enable precise localization, object detection, and collision avoidance, further enhancing the safety and efficiency of industrial automation. Worker safety is a concern in industrial settings. UWB technology provides effective proximity sensing and worker safety solutions. By equipping workers with ultra-wideband-enabled devices or badges, companies can monitor their location and movement in real time. Ultra-wideband-based systems can detect potential collisions between workers and machinery, issuing timely warnings to prevent accidents. Moreover, UWB technology allows for the creation of safety zones and controlled access areas, ensuring the safe interaction of workers with hazardous equipment or restricted zones. This helps enhance workplace safety, reduce accidents, and protect employees from potential hazards. Efficient asset tracking and management are crucial for industrial operations. UWB enables precise and real-time tracking of assets within industrial facilities. By attaching UWB tags to equipment, tools, and inventory, companies can monitor their location, movement, and utilization. This enhances inventory management, reduces asset loss, minimizes downtime, 
and streamlines maintenance processes. Ultra-wideband-based asset tracking systems provide accurate and reliable data, empowering businesses to optimize their resource allocation and improve overall operational efficiency. In autonomous vehicles, UWB's precise positioning and ranging capabilities enable collision avoidance and centimeter-level localization accuracy, surpassing traditional GPS systems. Moreover, its high data rate and low latency facilitate seamless vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. Now let's discuss most important and popular UWB application, mobile devices with ultra-wideband capability. For that, let me take you to the Wikipedia page of this technology. Here is the one. Let's see. So, you can see, you will get all other information like characteristic and theory if you want to know more. But let's see the mobile devices application. So you can see down here, Ultra Wideband has been adopted and included by leading smartphone manufacturers like Apple, Samsung and Xiaomi in their featured products. Like, Apple launched the first three phones with ultra-wideband capabilities in September 2019, namely, the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. Then, Apple also launched Series 6 of Apple Watch and AirTags in September 2020, which features UWB. Then, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, Galaxy S21 Plus, and Galaxy S21 Ultra also began supporting ultra-wideband, along with the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag Plus. The Xiaomi Mix 4 released in August 2021, supports UWB, and offers the capability of connecting to selected AIoT devices. To elaborate this in more detail, let's check out the table given below here, which is the list of ultra-wideband products or chips launched by leading companies like microchip nxp apple samsung and many more now let me show you the very interesting example of uwb utilization so apple inducted ultra wideband in its u1 series of processors which are based on cortex m4 architecture this includes all these apple products like iphone 11 to iphone 15 iWatch, HomePod, AirTags, and AirPods Pro. Now let's see this product, AirPods Pro 2nd Generation. I will show you where you will find utilization of UWB in this product. For that let's go to Apple website and AirPod link. This is the one, so UWB enables spatial awareness in smartphone and AirPods Pro, which give it ability to recognize the surrounding and objects around it. One way to think of it as a radar that can continuously scan the entire room and precisely lock onto an object, like a laser beam, to discover its location and communicate data. UWB in conjunction with GPS enables this feature of AirPod. That is, find my with precision finding. So as they said here, the U1 chip enables find my with precision finding for your case so you can locate it exactly. You can also use Find My with Proximity View if you lose track of your AirPods Pro. So, with this feature you can find your AirPods with pinpoint accuracy. This is very fascinating, isn't it? Now, in this context, we are going to see Hardware Module, which is Ultra Wideband Transceiver Module, RYUW122. It is manufactured by company named reacts. In next video, we will develop one distance measurement project using these modules. But before that, let's see the brief theory about how ultra-wideband is used for distance measurement and real-time location finding. Ultra-wideband was formerly known as pulse radio. This technology operates by generating billions of radio pulses transmitted at rapid intervals forming intricate patterns across a broad frequency range, typically spanning at least 500 MHz, or 20% of the center frequency. The operating concept is simple. Once a device that is equipped with an ultra-wideband radio, such as a smartphone wristband, 
or smart key, comes into range of another UWB device. The devices start ranging. The ranging is done by performing time of flight means TOF measurements between the devices. The time of flight is calculated by measuring the round-trip time of challenge or response packets. Ultra-wideband technology uses time of flight to determine the distance between peers. TOF measures the propagation time that it takes for the RF signal to travel between the transmitter and receiver. This time measurement multiplied by the speed of light determines the distance with high accuracy. These patterns are then received and analyzed by the recipient device, which decodes the incoming signals into usable data. Although primarily designed for rapid data transfer over short distances, the unique characteristics of UWB signals also enable precise localization of devices. Enough of this theory. In next video, we will develop one distance measurement project using these modules. Stay tuned for more projects and tech updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating our DIY projects, feel free to ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp. You can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help.